This video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean your mailing list on autopilot within Klaviyo, all of the segments you'll need, along with how to actually set up the sunset unengaged flow. So this tutorial is dedicated towards e-commerce businesses or Shopify stores. And the reason why you really wanna be doing this is to number one, reduce the cost of software, but more importantly, actually to maintain a high deliverability within your mailing list. So this basically just cleans it on autopilot and it's something that you can just routinely check in on every single month or every other month. Now, I cannot stress how important this is as you only wanna be sending a email to those who have shown active interest towards your content. So let's jump into a screen share and I'll show you exactly how this is done within Klaviyo. So to clean your list on autopilot, you will need to create a flow called the sunset unengaged flow, also known as like a breakup sequence. Some people call it that. So to do this, all you need to do is go to the flow section and then you wanna hit create flow. And then you wanna search for sunset unengaged. So you wanna hit the standard variant, not the customer versus non-customer variant. You wanna just stick with the standard one. And then for the trigger, you actually need to make sure that they join the unengaged segment. So by default, this segment is actually already created for you within Klaviyo. However, there's a few modifications and tweaks that I'm gonna show you uh, how to do in a second. So you wanna hit this and just import it. But first, let's uh, hop into the segments and I'll show you exactly how this is done. So first of all, you wanna go to the unengaged segment. Um, you can see in terms of the definition here, it's a bunch of and conditions. So properties about someone created in the last 90 days. This one, to be honest, we don't need. Uh, the received email at least five times, it's not really enough. So generally we go with 10 to kind of like 20. It just depends on what your sending frequency is with your campaigns. So for example, if you know that you your brand does one to two campaigns a week, then over the period of month, it's gonna be between kind of like four to eight campaigns. If you send boosters and things like that, it will be closer to kind of like six to 10. Then you wanna put this closer to kind of like 15 to 20. Whereas maybe if you only do one email a week, then you know, 10 would be kind of enough. So let's just use uh, 10 for now. And in terms of the opened email zero times in the last 90 days, this is absolutely necessary. This is what makes it a three month unengaged segment. Uh, we also have the uh, click metric simply because sometimes, you know, the pixel doesn't quite catch all of the opens. So you wanna also make sure to track the clicks as well. So you wanna make sure they're both set on 90 days. One other thing we do is uh, we have one where it's choose metric and we use placed order at least once in the last kind of like 30 to kind of 45 days. The reason why you wanna do this is because you don't wanna actually exit people out of uh, any post-purchase flows they might be in currently. Uh, you wanna make sure that they actually haven't been a customer with you uh, for a while before you kind of set them as unengaged. So yeah, these are the filters that you'll need and then you just wanna hit update segment. So yeah, once this segment has been saved, what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the flows and then you wanna hit create flow and then you wanna go to sunset unengaged and then you wanna hit standard. And uh, for the trigger, you just wanna do unengaged three months. You, these two would be ticked, but because this is a demo account, I haven't actually set all of the metrics up. So, you know, don't worry about that. You should have like green tick marks here. Then you would just want to hit create a flow. And then from here, you know, just modify the content to whatever your needs are for your specific brand. One thing I would recommend is actually including like an offer. So give them a discount and incentivize them to actually come back to your store and make a purchase. So that this way they still, your, your products kind of stay top of mind with them. So the idea is, you know, at the end of the flow, you're gonna mark them and update their contact profile as unengaged, meaning that, you know, this is a list that you don't really wanna be sending emails to because they don't generally tend to react to your uh, emails. Another thing you wanna add as a filter is uh, someone has placed an order since starting this flow. So someone has or has not done, choose metric, place an order uh, at least once zero times since starting this flow. So the reason why you wanna have this filter as well is because in case they just went on your website or maybe they clicked on one of your ads and made a purchase, you don't actually wanna be marking them as unengaged straight, straight away. So once you hit save and exit, 
you're all done. Now, every so often, maybe like once every month or every two months, it depends on the size of your list. What you wanna do is you actually wanna go into the unengaged segment and then you wanna hit manage segment and export segment to CSV file. The reason why you wanna do this is this is the part where I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to actually suppress these people because within Klaviyo, you only pay for what's known as uh, active profile. So to add these people to your suppressed list, you wanna to go to suppress profiles and then you just wanna hit upload file and then choose whatever CSV you just downloaded from the list and then just upload it on there and you sh should see them as suppressed on here. The reason why you wanna do this instead of just deleting the person is because then you'll still be able to view the activity that this person has had on your website and things like that. So yeah, increased deliverability and also technically these profiles haven't been like deleted off your list so they're still within your field of influence should you ever wanna contact these guys in the future again. Hope this video helped. Any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Also, if you want a done for you email marketing service, hit me up in the DMs or just book a call with me down below and I would love to see if you're a good fit to work with my agency.